The Spanish shipyard has already built the TCG Anadolu, twin of the Navy's LHD-1 Carlos I, and which carries combat drones. Turkey is supposed to have advanced plans to equip itself with a new aircraft carrier from Navantia, a company where the current TCG Anadolu is already built, the sister ship of the Spanish LHD-1 Carlos I. It is clear from some words of the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Therefore, according to the communication directorate of the Republic of Turkey on October 29, Erdogan indicated that a new agreement is imminent. We will make another agreement with the Spanish and, hopefully, increase our aircraft carriers to two, by bringing a superior version of TCG Anadolu to a country. These words confirmed the plans that he already revealed two years ago to equip himself with a second aircraft carrier, when Erdogan himself formally transmitted to the Spanish president, Pedro Sanchez, interest of his country in cooperation with Spain to get a second ship with characteristics. A TCG Anadolu, designed by Navantia based on the Spanish Navy's Juan Carlos I aircraft carrier, and the Royal Australian Navy's 2A LHD. In 2020, the Spanish shipyard presented an updated offer for the construction of a second amphibious assault ship to its Turkish partner Sedif, a company that manages the construction of TCG Anadolu, of Spanish design, in Turkey. He also mentioned this second ship in November 2021, when Erdogan stated that, although the first aircraft carrier is not on a large scale, referring to the TCG Anadolu, which has been in service with the Turkish Navy since this year, we have a big construction, of a new one, agreed. In this way he clarified the intention that the next order is for a more ambitious ship. Turkey and Spain also reached an agreement to study collaboration for a new submarine program for the Eurasian country, based on the SAT, also from Navantia, whose first unit for Spain is scheduled to will be sent to the Navy on the 30th thereof month. The two projects, that of a new LHD and a submarine program, were shown two years ago in the joint declaration issued on the occasion of the then meeting of Presidents Erdogan and Sanchez. President Erdogan even noted, when the ship was made available to the Turkish Navy in March, that the TCG Anadolu is the first ship in the world to carry armed drones. And he specified that his design was changed to accommodate the unmanned development models of the TB3 Baraktar and Gizalma, and, in the future, also the Herjet light combat aircraft. The ship is also ready to operate using helicopters on its large deck, that is more than 200 meters long. Its length is approximately 232 meters, and it has a displacement of 28,000 tons. TCG Anadolu was originally conceived as an aircraft carrier, like the Spanish twin Juan Carlos I, but the breakdown of a commitment to sell F-35B fighters to Turkey, made the United States rethink of project authorities. Thus TCG Anadolu started with drones, becoming the only ship of its kind with an unmanned aircraft. In this case, they come from local manufacturer Barak, the same maker of the Baraktar TB2 used by Ukraine against Russia, and which has caused significant damage to its armed forces. In this case it is the Baraktar TB3, a combat platform with folding wings, which allows dozens of them to be carried on board the LHD, carrying out various attack missions in support of the operations of naval and that fleet. It is capable of taking off and landing on a short runway aircraft carrier. In addition to reconnaissance slash surveillance and intelligence missions, the Baraktar TB3 UKIV can launch an attack operation using smart munitions attached to it under its wings. The Baraktar TB3 can carry out armed operations abroad due in part to its adapted capabilities, such as folding wings, that allow it to be used on aircraft carriers, and can be operated from very long distances, thanks to its line dash off site and beyond line communication capabilities. The process of integrating the UIV system continues after the delivery of TCG Anadolu, which can also ride on Baraktar Kizilelma, Myas, unmanned combat aircraft, another drone from the same manufacturer where the prototypes were seen, resulting in its appearance. 